so what I did, I put combo box dot get value, right? Like when the value is selected, with equals to the correct account type, which I set it to account type student, right? If the user selects student, then pretty much it's going to have alert, right? New alert, say welcome with the username, right? So if it's not correct, I mean, when it's not correct at the time of login, then we start to do count. We can just declare count int, right? So attempt equal to zero. So first time attempt is zero. Now if you have problem with attempt like wrong, you increment it. Yeah, spell it correct A T T E M P T. Oh, okay. This is an interesting part. It's not seeing it because this is like another set of code, right? So the scope of the variable is not seeing. So Local variable attempt defined in an enclosing scope must be final. So I need to make it final, otherwise it's not going to see it. Right, must be final. So let's move since we had a problem with the scope, so we gonna move this inside. Like Everything that you declare, you see that on the test for your final too. Every time you see the block of code in the current basis, it only exists. Your variables only exist in there. Okay. So now we can make it local to this and then increment. Then it's let's look at the requirement again. This program only allows user to enter username and password incorrect for three times. Otherwise the program will display the message please contact your administrator to unlock your account. So pretty much we are done here after we actually not just checking for username and password. We got and right attempt less than equals to limit. Okay. So let me see if I can do final int limit and keep it to 3 right so that is 3 trials the reason I want to do constants because I I don't want someone to read the code and say see the magic number 3 it's confusing one way you say limit that makes an attempt to not be greater than 3 right Another second reason is you can always change attempt to five easily here instead of look through your code, maybe thousand of lab code, and try seeing all the three to three players is so confusing. That's how you organize your code too. Now, else if then right because it's also say will contact right, so that means else if attempt. Less than limit, right? And another else that mean it's wrong, and if attempts equals to limit or greater than, right? 
greater than equals to limit, which it will never do greater than. Right. Then we go to alert again, and this alert is going to show this message, which meaning we can declare the alert outside. Otherwise, the scope is only valid inside this curly braces, right? We talk about that. So we gonna move it here. Then I don't have to declare alert again. I can just use this, the one that I already declare. All right, and just do show and wait. Uh, look like we're done. So let's run the application and test. Okay, so you may want to have the message is fail, not just increment, right? Otherwise, it's it doesn't look like user friendly. So we we gonna say your username or password is incorrect, right? Let's run again. I move fail. Okay, one, right? Fail two. Fail three. Three attempts. Okay, so something not right around here. We have to fix it, right? It's supposed to say contact admin. It looks like our attempt is the issue here right why because every time when I click it it's be set to zero because it's inside this code see that so every time I click it it's always set to zero that's the issue here so Now that's a problem again. We cannot increment it. We see an issue with the temp. If it's in here, it's always reset to zero, right? If it's inside the method here, it's pretty much just local to that method. It's not going to show in here, right? So a temp has to be global. Another way to declare, you can declare it inside your class. Normally you create a method, right? This is main start, right? You can also declare like as a class. You can do int attempt equal to zero like that, which is fine too. But it's a good idea just when you whenever you do it like that, you should get the private keyword, and we're gonna talk about that in two one why. So. This now global to the class level, so that means all the method will have an access to it. Start will have access, and this set on action will have access to it. All right, so let's try again. Fail one, fail two, fail three. If try again. Mm. Let me see. Oh, I didn't do a ten plus plus. That's why, right? I just delete that code out. Run again. Fail one. Fail two. Fail three. Piss contact. Because you already failed three times. You see that? You cannot try anymore. Please contact, right? But. So, username. Welcome. Username. And show the. Oh. Uh, let's look at the logic. It should not say welcome, right? 
it should show this first, right? So let's fix it. So make it visible. Oh, because my default, I set it to student. So that's why it just show right away. Show and then say welcome. Because my default. Idea. But when you have different. But, yeah, it's not fine when. Because it's going to say welcome. But let's test where it's not. It had to do something. It didn't do it yet, right? It should say else. You have a long account. So, it should keep prompting you to say count and what it say, right? So, uh, select account the account type again uh, wrong account type please okay now the problem this is always going to be default then I should not set the default. If I don't set the default to be student, but I'm going to set the default to be uh, like like normally when you log in, they actually don't have default for you. That's the reason, right? It can be there's some value, like say. Uh, Select <laughs> account, right? Or something like that, right? And going to make it as it's not an account but just a placeholder, right? And then set that to select. So let's rerun this again. So correct one. Okay, because this like account type, so that's not a good uh, one too. We're gonna fix that. But let's see if I select account type. By default, it should say like count, right? Oh, uh, something not right. Oh, because I say correct, that's why. Uh, uh, the default should be this one. Select count. Okay. Let's rerun again. So that's why it's a good idea just to test out the scenarios here. That's why I'm expecting because by default, it takes like count and compared to student. That's why it's showing that, which we are taking care. Let's take care now. So, meaning that this one should not check yet, right? This part should not be inside, otherwise it's going to check right away. We're going to make it outside. We can make it another else if statement here, right? And put it right there instead of nested. And if else if not equals. So where it's not equals to the correct account type wrong account. We don't have to do increment the attempt because it can be